everyone you are welcome to today's video my name is Dolapo and I am the creative director of Dolly B Crafties I want to quickly show us some ways you can work with straw mats as requested by many of you there's a particular design we are going to quickly work on in this video but before that let me just show you some ways you can work with straw mat let's just have all this in one video so this is what straw mat is this is called straw mat it comes like this can you see it comes in different colors all right and how you can form a beautiful air piece with this depends on how creative you have you need items like your alice band you need uhu glue you need feathers or any type of feathers like this and needle and fishing line then this is a fishing line visible thread of about 0.35 mm okay and you also need some accessories like uh, flowers or roses to embellish your fascinator with okay you may also need a piece of razor blade let me show you number one way to make a fascinator with straw mat this is the back of the straw mat and this is the front or this is the top you can just cut off let me show you okay from here the middle of your straw you can just use your blade to cut off this middle part you can see it's in form of a circle so determine how wide you want the spacing on this your straw mat to be so let's say we want to cut from here so you, you just follow that line like that round with your blade like that like that round with your blade and cut the part off it depends on how wide you want this inner or this middle part to be okay if you want it wider increase it if you want it smaller reduce it so after you must have cut out this middle part the next thing for you to do is to pick your needle and thread or needle and fishing line and sew loose stitches from this like this right that's after you must have cut this off and sew loose stitches like that round and pull to form gather so you now attach your Harley's band at the back of your straw and embellish this part with roses flowers or any design you want to all right another way you can work with straw mat is this you can just pick this old piece and get the middle this is the middle of this uh, piece you just um, do a pleat the middle just pick it like this just pick like this can you see pick it like this okay and tap this back side just tap with needle and fishing line needle and fishing line okay you can as well pick more pleats depends on how you want it okay? so you can just you can just pick an extra make an extra pleat like this tap them all together okay okay tap it all together can you see just make sure you are they are well aligned then use your needle and thread to secure it together after you must have secured it then you can put feathers you can embellish with anything just to cover the parts that you sew you understand then this under part you put your Alice band determine how you want it to stay on your head and put your Alice band now the third design I want to show you determine the center of your straw let's say this is the center of your straw mat so you make you just pick like this like you just want to form pleats the middle pick it like this can you see you pick it like this this is also another design this is like a bow a circled bow okay just pick it like this can you see make sure it is well arranged can you see then you tap you secure with your fishing line and needle you have this and you can embellish this part the under part you place your alice band 
just the same way you know how to make fascinators. I want to show you another way you can work with straw mat. We are going to gather this part like we did the other time. Can you see? Then we are going to pull this this way to form like a cap. You need to just make sure you arrange it properly. All right, just arrange it properly to form like a cap, like this right here. Can you see? You can make it this part smaller so that you can have more towards this side. Okay, you can just shift your hand, shift it this way. Okay, then arrange this part to form something like a cap, something like a cap, like this. Okay, and I'm going to tack, I'm going to secure it with needle and thread right here, right here. Okay, make sure you arrange your pleats well. So I'm going to properly arrange this and tack, I'll tack and then we'll continue from there. So, as you can see, I have secured it right here, okay. You can even use your needle and thread at some point to just hold any part you need, you, you feel should be held in place for it to form that um, curve right here, okay. You can leave it this way and just go ahead and attach your Alice band, place your Alice band on your manicure head, then place it just to get the point or how you're going to fix it there, okay. But for me, this is what I will do. I'm going to be placing a base right here. You will notice the base is a little bit smaller than this space, yes, so that it will be covered and not be seen from the outside. I molded this base with paper mats. You can use cinnamon, you can cover with fabric, you can just do anyhow you want to. I'm going to fix this right here under, okay? So I'll just go ahead and use my glue. I put my glue on this neatly. All right, and I'm going to fix it right here, like this. You need a basic knowledge in millinery to understand all this. Thing. So if you don't have any basic knowledge, please you can join our online class. We have online classes on basic and advanced class in hat making. I have placed this on this like this. So I'm going to allow the glue dry a little. Then I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to fix this like this okay i'll fix it like this what i'm doing is not compulsory like i said you can leave it this way and put your alice band but i just want to define this front and it makes it last longer it's like i used the front part and this is going to be the back part okay so i'm going to attach my alice band right here okay with my glue or i sew neatly with needle and fishing line and i'm going to cover this part with fabric before i attach my alice band i'm also going to cover this inner part with peter sham ribbon trimmings or bias tape all right after which i'm going to embellish this with my arrow feather this is my arrow feather can you see and i'm going to place my rows right here so this forms our beautiful fascinator i hope you find this tutorial helpful please leave a comment below you can join our online classes in our online classes we teach with step by step explanatory videos we teach how to make fascinators we teach how to make turbans we teach how to make different kind of headways from the basics up to the intermediate and up to advanced level and these our classes are pocket friendly with just that small amount you'll be paying you're going to be gaining a lot we appreciate you so much for staying with me up to this point so i'll see you all in my next tutorial bye